So this question starts off by giving us two equations, y equals x squared minus, I'm sorry, y equals x squared plus 3x minus 7, and y minus 5x plus 8 equals 0. The question goes on to say, how many solutions are there to the system of equations above? So typically, whenever we see system of equations, we want to think about two different processes. And those processes are substitution or elimination. We cannot use elimination for this particular question because we have an x squared in the first equation and we don't have an x squared in the second equation, which means I would not be able to eliminate those. But let's try out this uh, substitution method, right? So substitution says, if I can isolate a variable, so let's, let's, let's say for instance, for equation one, I know that y is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 7. I could take what I know y to be equal to, right? So the x squared plus 3x minus 7. And I can substitute out this y right there for that. So I'm going to do that. So in the second equation, if I were to substitute y for x squared plus 3x minus 7, I'd have that in the beginning, and then I still have my minus 5x plus 8 equals 0. So now when I simplify this, I have x squared, 3x minus 5x becomes negative 2x, negative 7 plus 8 becomes positive 1, and then I have equals 0. And now can I factor this trinomial? Well, whenever I have a, a trinomial set equal to 0, I look to factor it by seeing, are there two numbers that multiply to give me the last term here and add up to the middle term? Well, yes, there are, right? So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, and negative 1 times, I'm sorry, negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. So I can factor that trinomial into x minus 1 times x minus 1 equals 0, which really is just x minus 1 squared equals zero, which means if I now were to try to find a solution, I'd have x minus one equals zero, right? Because the square root of anything squared just crosses that out completely. The square root of zero is zero, and I get x equals one. Now, what does this mean for me? This x equals one means that if I were to graph this out, which is another option for you if you're very good at graphing and can quickly set up a table and and do all that. Um, if I were to graph this out, if I had use of a graphing calculator and graph this out, the only place where the two equations would cross each other is at x equals 1. All right, whatever, whatever the y value is there, doesn't really matter. It's where, it's where the x equals 1 that I'd have um, those two graphs intersecting. And the intersection of those two graphs is the solution. So therefore, the answer here is that there is exactly one solution, because again, there's only one answer for x that works here.